uh, Way of the Rings tournament here. And it looks like the uh, initial conflict is the political conflict with the Eda Trader against uh, Julian's Kayusuichi province. It was a manicured garden that was revealed. Uh, Julian Hunt showing off those uh, really cool exhausted tokens that he had printed out just to indicate that uh, an ability has been used, so he's put it over his manicured garden. Uh, so that's what that exhausted token is. Right. So the Shinjo Operator uses the action to come into the combat. It's now 6 to, six to 4 in the favor of Sung Ho. Yep. Sung Ho going aggressive with this fight. I'm not well, he, he, does he wanted the, the card draw yeah. from the trader a little bit. He does have the favorable ground to pull it back out. And now we see the reason. Yeah. Oh, no. He's taking back the charge. Well, it's he not, a not a military conflict. Military. <laughs> so, I, I, guess, I guess doing political conflicts first is something you wouldn't really expect out of a, out of a unicorn player. Uh, there is this one, one style of unicorn deck that uh, has become popular in the last week or so called Unicordier. Yep. Which is a very political heavy unicorn deck running uh, a lot of enchantment attachments, runs E to traders, runs giver of gifts, as most unicorn decks do. But it, it splashes cream for things like political rival and steward of law. So we'll see what uh, Sunkos splashes in a minute here, hopefully. But it looked like he sent the E to trader home with his favorable ground. So looks like it's now just two. Uh, Two political strength to Julian's three four with that watch commander, and Julian did play that mountain does not fall, so he's going to be able to defend with uh, that borderlands defender for multiple conflicts this turn. Okay. Look like a really good first turn for Julian here. Uh, the uh, the high bid on Sung Ho's side during his draw phase, combined with the honor pressure from Watch Commander, uh, has really put Julian in a commanding position here to dictate the card draw for the next couple of turns. So Julian's gonna counter attack with uh, a void province, sorry, a void military, looks like, against a face down province. Uh, shameful display is the is the province revealed now. Border uh, eager scout is zero glory, and it's zero strength, so it's not really going to do anything on Julian's side. Right. Uh, Eden Trader, I believe, is one glory or two glory. One glory, but it's already honored. Yes. So that the shameful display isn't really going to do anything. Well, actually, he could move the Shinjo Outrider in with the uh, Golden Plains Outpost. Yes. To, in an attempt to honor it. This is just a, a pure scouting, scouting expedition. It, it absolutely could be. Yeah. I mean, it's also very easy to have a katana or some other small boost of yes. strength Bonsai to even. win the combat. Yeah. yeah. So I think, think Sung Ho just declared the traitor as a defender. Just waiting to confirm, so yeah. I think he's thinking about putting the favored mount onto the Eda Trader so he can move it into the conflict. And actually by doing that, he's going to be able to uh, trigger the card draw uh, from the Eda Trader. It's a, it's a decent play because he then is able to... Um, he would be he would be able to uh, win that conflict because an honored Eda Trader with a favorable mount is three military. So even if Julian ends up playing a bonsai, he's still even if Julian wins the province, he's not going to be able to break it. It's a tough decision. So I do see a I do see a guard duty in Sung Ho's hand. So that means is uh, Sung Ho's running a lion splash with his unicorn deck. So Julian starts with a charge, grabbing a Kaiju Suichi. That almost feels like uh, the kind of play you would do if you had a reprieve in your hand. Now, unfortunately, 
there's no holding in play anymore, so he can't get that fate from Suichi's ability. So I think here comes a favored mount now from Sungho. So favored mount, of course, being a, a unicorn attachment, one fate. No, he instead decides to put the guard duty onto the Shinjo Outrider. So with that, plus the Golden Plains Outpost, he can move the Outrider into play, and I believe through Guard Duty's ability, he can honor the Shinjo. Sure, but this is at a shameful display problem, so it's not really yeah, that true. useful. I, I, I think he accidentally grabbed the wrong card from his hand. Um, okay, well, so no, he, I he don't decides, know. Okay, he decides instead to do what I thought he was going to do at the beginning, which is the favored mount play. Uh, so now that's a three military. Oh, nice. So this was just a bit of a bait by Julian. He plays way of the crap, sacrificing his eager scout. And now Sungo has to decide between stand your ground. Nice. So a little bit of hot tech there. Yeah, so it's a lion card. It lets you discard uh, an honor and status token uh, to prevent a character from leaving right. play. Yeah. Very nice. So a uh, bit of a two for one on Sungo's side, actually. I wouldn't say that Julian lost a lot of value there. I mean, the Eager Scout didn't cost him any fate. But uh, now, Sung Ho moves the, moves the Eater Trader in yeah. with the, uh, the favorite mounts ability. And procs the Shameful Display to dishonor Kaiyu Suichi. So Kaiyu Suichi with two glory now brings him to one uh, military skill versus Sung Ho's three. And now it looks yeah. like Sung Ho's going to exhaust his Golden Plains outpost to bring the Shinjo Outrider in. And now he's going to... But he's only he's already done his two draws with the trade well, this weird. turn, right? I, I feel like maybe you should have waited to... And now he's going to play the card duty. Okay. Yeah, I, feel that makes like, sense. I feel like he could have he could have just used a Shameful Display on the Shinjo Outrider um, instead of... Okay, so Julian, Julian's just going to give him the exhaust of things. So that's a successful defense by Sung Ho there. Gets to claim the Void Ring. Now we'll see if Sung Ho remembers the Keeper of Void trigger. Uh, because he is the Keeper of Void, the Unicorn, he should be gaining a fate for successfully defending a yeah. Void. And it looks like he'll miss it. Keeper of Void, uh, I mean, Seeker triggers were something that I was really bad at missing at the beginning of this game. And uh, I think Keeper is much harder to, to remember just because... Uh, you know, in the heat of defending a battle where you got so many cards you're flinging around, at the Ooh. end of the battle, it's really hard to. So, uh, attack to the Borderlands Defenders, no defense, breaks shameful display. Yeah. So and this, uh, was, this was after Sung Ho passed his second All right, so turn. Sung Ho does remember his secret void trigger. Julian is nice enough to let him uh, have it. Julian gains the uh, Imperial Favor. He had won two rings this round. And uh, first player shifts over to Julian. So Borderlands Fender with Watch Commander on it. Um, I think it's... And, and One Fate still on it. It's going to... It's going to be really tough for Sung Ho to draw a bunch of cards this turn outside of the Eda Trader's ability. So, you know, if he has a spyglass in his hand, something like that, he might be able to recover. He does have a favorable crowd, which is, again, good with the Eda Trader's ability to draw some cards. Yeah. Uh, of course, Julian has a favorable crowd as well. And Ahita Kasada doesn't have a lot of money this cycle. Uh, chooses to spend it on a Stoic Magistrate to start off with two Fate on it. Stoic Magistrate and Ability says when it is defending, uh, characters with, I believe, an even cost... Or two or less. Two or rather. less. Sorry, two, two or, or less. less. Don't contribute their skill to the economy. So it's not a great uh, thing for uh, for Sunko. No. Sunko plays in any Taku Infantry yeah. with a Fate and also another Shinjo Outrider with two Fate. So only one of those cards on Sunko's side has three cost or more, yes. which is the Eden Trader. So uh, it's going to be, I think, really tough for Sunko to push through a, a province break this turn. I think this is just another round of him trying to build out his board. Yep. Um, 
So it looks like it was uh, this time the, the bids were reversed. So four for one on Julian's side. So that allows Sung Ho to get a little bit of fate back. Sorry, a little bit of honor back. Relief some of that draw. Or sorry, that honor pressure he had earlier. I do see another watch commander on uh, Julian's side, which I think is a great defensive play on the Stoic Magistrate. One of those, uh, one of those holdings that got flipped up on Julian's side is the Imperial Palace, which is a fairly new card. I think it's the one that gives you plus three glory when determining who gets the Imperial yes. favor, and it also gives the province that it's on plus two province strength. He was just trying to decide his conflict. So it looks like Julian passed his first conflict opportunity. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be a political with a traitor. Yep. A political fire on the tears of and it's, it flips over tears of Amaterasu. So one, I think you got one fate for that. I think because he was only attacking with his evil yeah. traitor. So that we're gonna start off with, I believe it's four political strength on Sunho's side. Right. So that's interesting. Uh, that's a void province. Yep. Uh, so that means no shameful display or pilgrimage, which nope. it's, it's tough to sacrifice those as options. Well, shame, uh, shameful display on in crab isn't as good, just because a lot of your characters are one or zero glory. That's true. And it's a, a and shameful display compared to tears, it's a um, it's a province with one less province strength, obviously. So depending on how defensive your crab deck is, you may want to go with tears instead. So yeah, defends with Borderlands Defender. Borderlands Defender, all right. Ooh, starts off with the Karuma Ambusher. It's going to blank the uh, Eda Trader's ability for this conflict. So that puts him at six strength, Julian, for political defense. <coughs> So he's trying to decide right now whether to put more fate on the ambusher. So that's unfortunate, but... Yeah. So he's using favorable grounds to send him home. That's pretty good. I mean, as long as Julian doesn't have a mountain to not fall, this is actually pretty decent for him. Now, I think Julian... His, his plan for this turn, I think he's just gonna he's just gonna try pass his uh, second conflict as well, because now that uh, now that Sung Ho has a bunch of unbound characters, it makes no sense to chump attack. And then Stoke Magistrate, especially this turn, is gonna be really good on defense. Effectively, the only thing that can push through any skill is gonna be that yeah. Eda Trader, and it is gonna be a military challenge. And this is really just a matter of Sung Ho yeah. drawing some cards, I think. Yep. Now, I mean, the, 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 uh, with the favorable mount, he still could win the conflict here. So he still has a chance of getting a trigger off the off the battle. Yeah, I would, in, in some of those shoes, I would just send in, I would probably have sent in like an Otaku infantry and then sent in the Eden trigger to get the card drop. Well, no, he, he can bring in two Outriders or the, or the Otaku infantry. Like he has lots of ways to bring characters yeah. in. Now, the Eda Trader's ability is only once per conflict, so you can only draw a maximum one right. card. So that's going to be uh, starting off. Looks like it's going to be three military skill versus two on Sunko's side. It's 3-3 three, because three, uh, Julian has a favor. Sorry, yes, the favor. You're right. Favor. Uh, Julian also has access to the, the Crab Stronghold, which is going to give him an extra military. So uh, unless Sungo has any additional tricks, uh, Julian may just win. So he's going to do a watch commander. That's pretty good. So that's going to dissuade Sungho from playing any cards from his hand. So 
going to use uh, it's like favored mount to trigger the Eda Trader. All right, hey, pass it out. Yeah. Okay. So even though Sung Hao has a lot of glory on his characters, there's still the uh, the two rings plus the three for the Imperial Palace. So stands the ground to keep the Eda Trader around one more turn. This this game has uh, probably been the most use I've seen out of a standard round like ever. <laughs> so Julian playing a very effective crab game here. I mean, he's, he's just trying to grind out his opponent. Yeah. Sung Ho, despite playing all these uh, cards from his hand and, like, you know, yeah. proccing the uh, Aegis a bunch of times, he hasn't really made any headway. He hasn't broken any provinces. Julian's sitting at... He, he is in the lead with one broken province. Um, I think at this point he's just waiting for an opportunity to to grab a Hida Kasada, maybe put some bait on it yeah. with some additional... Um, and I, I was going to mention, but he just flipped it over. Like, if he does grab a Karada district, which just got flipped over on Julian's side, uh, because Sung Ho has a bunch of attachments, yeah. now he's going to start moving those attachments onto his crab personalities. Yeah. Favored, favored mount on um, on any, on a Borderlands Defender or Stoic Magistrate, especially. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's be devastating. And uh, just to note here, Julian did switch the favor over to pol uh, Political. Um, just knowing that the traitor is the only thing that has any strength uh, that, um, well, now, now that he has the jury in play, it's a little bit different, but that was the only thing that had a, a cost greater than two. So that couldn't be dealt with by the Stoic Magistrate. So Motohiro, that uh, new unicorn personnel we were talking about earlier, the uh, one that can move in and out of conflicts. Uh, very good partner to Eva Trader, of course, for that reason. Yeah. And uh, Kasada comes in with uh, two fate, so it's going to be a real uphill battle here for Sung Ho, I think. Three to four. So uh, I will mention that Julian's splash in his grab deck is Dragon, Sandra and Miramotus Fury. So he's going to be very secure in, in maybe uh, probably overcommitting a little bit on one of his conflicts just to try to push another province break this turn. Uh, meanwhile, Sangho drew a windswept yurt on his side, which can gain both players either two honor or two fate, and then refill the province face up. So Sung Ho goes with the Spy Bass Spy Bass on Jerry. Wow. Okay. I'm, uh, now, Julian doesn't have any money, so that's why Sung Ho, I think, played the Spy Glass now when he did. Just to try to get as many uses out of that Spy Glass before Julian steals it. Now, do you know that if, uh, if Sung Ho uses Spy Glass twice and then Julian steals it, uh, does it still remember that it's been used twice that turn? So, yeah, because it's not a new, it's not yeah. a new part anymore. Yeah. So are there just, Sung Ho is getting clarification about Borderlands Defender, who can be bowed by the Water Ring. Yes. It's, uh, it's not a card effect, so. Yeah, very smart going after the Karada District. Oh. Eda Trader, Meditation to Dao, that's not bad for Sung Ho, because the Eda Trader doesn't have any fate on him. That's fine, but I, I think he probably wanted to bring some additional characters in. He really wants to get rid of Karada before that Sabah glass is going to go well, away. Well, he's going to he's gonna move Moto Hero into the conflict with Golden Plains Ampos and okay. draw the Spy Glass, right? Uh, he just wants to see what Julian commits first. Because if if he commits the Stoic Magistrate, then then he knows not to bring in the, the Outrider and whatnot. But he does commit the Magistrate to defense, so it looks like... Uh, Looks like one, two, three. No, sorry. Two military for Sung Ho versus three for Julian. Oh, brings in Kasada too. So make that ten military on defense for. No, just Kasada. Okay, so seven. Uh, 
No, I, he's still playing Tetris with his uh, characters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Well, ten, yeah. Ten, I think. So, uh, Sungo has to kind of play around Kasada's ability here. I think he, he did this, uh, Julian did this, because he wants to make sure Kasada's ability is active for the entire round. So, yeah, Sung Ho just uh, decides he's not going to contest this. And Julian gets to claim the water round. So now it's Julian's turn to push through a conflict. Uh, almost feel like this is just a probe, just to flip over another. Well, it's also two fate off of yeah. the air ring, so. Now, so, Karate District is turned on. Yep. And now I feel Sung Ho, I, I think he should. Oh, but this is a political. That's smart. Is he. Ooh, and this plans. Which is, I mean, that's not bad for Julian. And I think he kind of suspected this, which is why he decided to just the poke part. with the Pumula Ambusher. But it's just unfortunate for Sung Ho because he's going to lose Endless Plains anyways. Yeah. Okay, so it did break. Still, the combat is still going on. He brought in Jiro. Yeah, I think not a spike left trigger. Yeah, he's doing this to draw a card and potentially uh, turn off uh, Hida Kasada for for the rest of the conflict phase. So wait, he bows the favored mounts. So oh, try to bring him home with it. Okay. Yep. So use the crowd district to take the spy guys. Sends uh, Euro home. We attack Fizzles because there are no participants. So that means uh, Kasada's ability is still active, right? Yes. Okay. Finger of Jade going on uh, Shinjo Outrider. He's playing more attachments out. I mean, well, I mean, he's I think already it... used his one for the turn, but the, he's already used the Cry District once for, for the turn, but I don't know. Now, interesting, I saw I see in Julian's hand there's a Way of the Crab. Which, uh, at the end of this turn, it looks like Sung Ho is losing the Ida Trader and the Ataku Infantry. So, uh, I also saw an assassination in Julian's hand, which is probably why Sung Ho played the Finger of Jade yes. on the Shinja Rider, suspecting that Julian might try to do a one two punch of assassination into Way of the Crab. So, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good perception on Sung Ho's part there. He really wants to get rid of the problems with the Karate District, but he realizes he probably doesn't have the strength to do it. Yeah. Now, right, he does not want to lose a fate. So, the, the problem with and the reason why playing against a crab is so depressing is that uh, Julian Julian's deck runs three copies of Rebuild. So even if you manage to slog through a big fight just to to destroy a Karate District. They're just going to play a rebuild and throw it on another uh, province. So the game's a fate with the Manicure Gardens. Yeah, Julian firmly in control right now. He's taking his time breaking these provinces because he knows he has inevitability on his side. Right. Uh, looks like a captive audience that changes right. into a military so conflict. Because of the watch commander, he's giving yeah. up two, fa uh, two honor for that. Yep. So, Sungho goes to eight. Uh, uh, Fury coming down four. on the uh, Jiro. Yep. Yeah. 
bringing in a Shinjo Outrider. Assassinate, yeah. <laughs> Tries to assassinate, he's like, wait a minute. I just remembered this finger jade. No. Oh, no, okay, there we go. There's the assassin. Assassination is a... Yeah. I also see an assassinate in Sungo's hand, but I don't think, with the exception of the Haruma Ambusher, Julian has played anything that costs two or less. No. And that's actually one of the reasons why I don't think I... I think I've stopped playing assassinate in a lot of my decks. Because, you think so? Yeah, like, the... In, in core set, there was a lot of, like... It was more important to be efficient and have a good, like, curve so you could play a bunch of guys out. But now, with a lot of really good characters that cost three or more, uh, assassinate's value, in my opinion... It's gone down quite a bit. Uh, now I, I think I do see a cavalry reserves in Sungo's hand. Not entirely sure if that's the case, but that's gonna probably. I be I useful card doubt, doubt it. No. If the, he would have used it, I think, because yeah, I think so too. To, uh, to, like to make sure that he doesn't have the flavor, favor advantage and to break the province. Yeah, it's not definitely not a cavalry reserve. Cracking the yurt. Cracking the yurt for two fate. Child of the Plains gets revealed. So is that Haruma Skirmisher? Skirmisher? The, uh, yeah, Haruma Skirmisher. The uh, one one military dash covert when it has uh, one entry assist turn. So declaring a military void conflict, uh, poking again. Discovering a manicured garden, and he just immediately assassinates it. That's good because Haruma Skirmisher is uh, a great candidate for Way of the Crab. Yes. Gains of Fate from Manicured Gardens. Yep. So Julian keeps a favor on political. Everyone resets their board. And, and Julian, Julian will be first player. Sorry, not Julian. Uh, Sungo has slight advantage right now. Oh, no. He kept the... Oh, I think there was one fade on that. There was. Yeah, okay. So going into the next turn, I'm, I'm almost positive there's a cavalry search in Sungo's hand. I might, I, I might just be misremembering the picture, but anyway. Decides to get rid of the Child of Plains yeah. and the Moto U. He has fate to he has fate to spend, so yeah. he wants to see some bigger things. Yep. <laughs> so, oh, let's. All right. Well, two copies of Alter Alter, Alter Nasai, um, and a oh, sorry, honored poet warrior poet. warrior poet, right? Uh, and then a keeper, which neither here nor there. Yeah, uh, playing all your five class characters, it's fairly safe against Crab because you know they probably don't have Claw of the Mind. He dupes uh, Alton Sarnai. Yeah, Julian has an unfortunate, uh, very holding yeah. heavy draw. Yeah, this is the problem because he, I mean, he's kept all his holdings turn to turn. So this is a bit of a, I feel like it's a bit of an inevitability in this scenario, scenario where he started with the Imperial Palace, then he got a Karana District, and now he has an Imperial Storehouse. Uh, he did have a Borderlands Defender, so that's actually fairly decent to your only play. And now he does have four fate uh, to play, like he has a bunch of conflict characters like that in his hand. Uh, they both bid one. Everybody who signed up I mean, not only because he has three honor, but he had a good omen in his hand as well. And I think he's looking to try to uh, capitalize on that. Right. So I think Julian, what, what he could do here is uh, he can try to steal the figure jade with Karate District. Given the honor position he put himself in, I think, yeah. was he one ahead last time? Like, he could have good omen last turn. And I think he might have yes. recognized that he was not going to have, probably going to have an opportunity. Yeah. So, 
Julian had still kept the favor on the political side, but here's a military void conflict, uh, sending in Motohiro against the Imperial Palace with the, under the manicure card. So I feel like I feel like you hmm. would you defend here with just the stone the magistrate? Yeah. It's gonna be very hard for Sungo to play any cards here. He, he may have been try like if if I'm right and he has a capital reserves in my hand, I feel like he's trying to set up a capital reserve play. But if he does do it uh, against and then Stoic Magistrate's in the conflict, well, first of all, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to throw away an, an action ability to get around Hida Kasada. That's like, easy enough. Reserves. Yeah, I mean he does have the Golden Plains outpost, yep. so he could just use or Shinjo Outrider's ability. But then the problem is you play Cavalry Reserves, now you're on two honor. And then uh, if Julian wants to, he can push through an air conflict and then hopefully later on do like an unopposed conflict and that's the last two honor. Yeah. So he's going to throw in Kasada too. Probably because he suspects that there's going to be a Cavalry Reserves being played or Do you think so? I mean, I don't think he needs to defend that heavy. I think he just wants to keep Kasada's ability turned on. Yeah. So, uh, so he did trigger someone. Did he try to send someone to the conflict? The Shinjo Uprider. Yep. That that fizzled because of Kasada, and then he used Jiro's ability to send send it home. Also, oh yeah, he's only got the Outrider now that... It's not just Stoic Magistrate's ability, right? It's the fact that it has Watch Commander on it. Yes. That's gonna... It's gonna make the difference here. So plays in an Ambusher. This is a between conflict amateur, which is a little odd. But there aren't really that many abilities that he needs to urgently turn off, and obviously he's going to be attacking alone with the ambusher. An earth conflict. <coughs> trying to get some juicy cards. So, oh man, I, I gotta remember to turn off and on the uh, conflict <laughs> thing. So, for those who are watching, um, we do have the chat up. We're happy to answer any questions or clarify any any kind of rules things you might have. Um, we do also have a few uh, matches up on our channel. So, if you're watching on Twitch, check us out on YouTube VTTV Live to watch some older matches. Uh, we're doing three rounds today. And we'll also be putting those those matches up on YouTube afterwards. So Julian uses the district to steal the finger of Jade. to become honored if it's defending or is it a yes. reaction? It is an action. An action. So that would put Monohira at seven military strength I believe. If when like when he triggers it. But he first has to trigger something else. Yeah. So Bonsai. Putting uh putting Julian at six. So he's triggering Gira's ability to try to send him home, which fizzles. Right. Now owes him up to card guard duty.
And then just old fashioned fine katana. So a charge in Sun Ho's hand, but I don't think it's going to do much. Good omen in cavalry reserves. Um, he's going to bring in. Ooh, that's a side. So Reasonable choice. Put him in another five, uh, five military strength, putting yeah. Sun Ho at 12. I mean, yeah, Julian's not going to press issue. Like, I, I know he doesn't have a lot of cards in his hand, but I kind of like how Julian is just sort of making Sung Ho, forcing Sung Ho to have it in terms of cards. And like that Hida Kasada is also choking uh, Sung Ho's options. So Sung Ho passes the second conflict. Yeah. And I believe Julian passed his as well. So, uh, yeah. so we might see Julian throw away the uh, pure passes. I don't know, actually. He has two new parts, but. Uh, especially given some of those board, he may just want to try to ensure that he has more opportunity to draw more conflict characters this turn. I mean, that, that was extra... The extra province strength has been helping him out. was a way of the crab uh, Julian just put I can't I can't tell if that was during the uh, the re sorry the fate phase yeah I think it was a fate phase I think the reason why he did that was because now he uh, because way of the crab is only once per turn and, and Julian does have another way of the crab he may just want to sacrifice his borderline defender to try to get either Moto Hero or Shinjo Alter Sarnaya but Sunko I think is Sunko still first player or do you know if yes, he is. is not the first player? Yeah, no, yeah. He's, he's first player. This so time. Sungo is going to have the opportunity to play a card first, which is going to let him... Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if Sungo knows, but it, it basically stopped him from losing another big character in the way of the crap. Yeah. So Julian plays uh, Kai Envoy. I mean, and that's why Sungho played a character in with no fate. He knew that it was a possibility. There's a Vanguard Warrior also on Julian's side. Very uh, nice draw for him, so it allows him to keep Kita Kasada around for another turn. Uh, Julian hasn't drawn any reprieves yet either. So I think that's something he's also looking to draw. So Vanguard Warrior does give Julian a way to keep Kasada around for another round. So Julian does bid three, giving uh, Sung Ho a bit more honor, taking a some of that pressure off and yep. putting some of that honor pressure back onto Julian. Yeah, Julian's now only at four honor. I didn't even realize that, but uh, Julian's now has got to be a bit careful here. Now, the thing is, he can actually just uh, Karata District the guard duty on the Caillou Envoy and just use that or, or put it on the uh, Vanguard Warrior. It's just a uh, quick and dirty way to get some honor. That's true. So it looks like Sung Ho's considering the air ring, so keep putting that honor pressure on. Well, it's it's two prong, right? Like he's also denying the air ring to, to Julian in case he wants to try to do the same thing. Uh, but now that uh, Watch Commander on the Stoic Magistrate is gone, it's going to help him. Uh, I do see a mountain does not fall in Julian's hand. Fine Katana already a fan. He's going to defend this, uh, this attack on his so. Steadfast Witch Hunter's province with three of his characters. So it looks like 7, 8, 9, 10 defense for Julian. 
versus one six, I think. Nope. Yeah. All right, judge, uh, Victor's just going to go help with the judge question. Um, so, Sung Ho uses a charge that fizzles because of Kasada. I, I have a feeling it's probably because he has two charges in his hand. Julian did use his stronghold, so he's up to 13. Uh, now, don't forget, Julian still has the option to steal guard duty, and it's only worth an additional one strength. So it brings... Brings Soho up to 13 as well, I believe. Oh, yeah, right. One, six, 13, yeah. So put a fine Casado, fine uh, Katana on Casada. Uh, so that put him up to 15. So, so does that make him a fine Casada? <laughs> it's a fine Casada. It's a very fine Casada. Um, so Jiro heads back. Did he use the Golden Plains Outpost to trigger Casada? No, he charged and then charged again. Oh, okay. or he, didn't, in he didn't use his double oh charge. Oh my gosh. That was. Uh, and the mountain does not fall. Oh no. I mean, he played that kind of out of order. He's supposed to play mountain does not fall first. Okay, Sungo's, I think he's going to hold him to it. It's like you already played the... Yeah, but yeah, Fallen in Battle is uh, if you win a conflict by five or more, you get to discard a character that was participating in it. So that's a huge swing. Um, but I think he uh, Sungo prison rolled him a bit with that mountain does not fall. That's fine. And here comes a way the crab to get rid of uh, Otaku Yujimo, I think, is what she's called. Yes. I mean, she was out there for to, to soak the way of the crab, but yeah. that's still not a great trade. Yeah, she's a pretty good character in in, in, like, in her own right. So. And the it's just, it's just that uh, somehow nothing cheap to bring out to sacrifice. Again, right, this is what Crab does best. It just grinds you out. Like, Julian's broken two provinces. It doesn't look like he's in any huge rush to, right. to break the remainder, but... Uh, yeah. So you see a, a, a let go... I mean, I, I would probably use my good omens now, because yeah. I, I don't know if it's going to be playable in future turns. sungho has been really holding on to those cavalry reserves. So uh, I think I think this is the turn where you're gonna finally see him use it. Hopefully he passes his second uh, conflict. Okay. I'm, I'm actually surprised he hasn't done it. Like, cause he does have a bunch of cavalry in his discard pile, right? I, I I think he's really thinking he wants. He's been for him. He might be focused on. I need a four greater good before I make that play. Oh, four greater glory. You mean? Four greater glory. Sorry, yeah. Four good. Do we know that that's in Sunko's deck? Uh, I absolutely know that's in Sunko's okay. deck. I see. Okay. I just. I mean, yeah. with, with the stand, with the lion, lion splash that we've already seen with the stand your ground. I mean, that's the obvious other include. And like in some a, respects, yeah. uh, it's a better card in Unicorn than it is even in Lion. You know, I, that actually makes sense. Why Julian? Seemed, like, not only is he trying to over defend basically to keep Casada's ability on. But I, I suspect Julian like knows that for greater glory is in Sunho's deck, and so he's trying to uh, trying to prevent that from triggering. He's trying to like grind him out by making sure that Sunho's got to pay for new characters every turn. Yeah. So we're we're deciding on uh, is it Julian's first conflict of the turn? Second conflict. Second conflict. So this is Sunhouse? No, Sunhouse has to second, so this is Julian's second. Okay. So it looks like a political fire against the manicured garden province. Uh, is that Jiro defending? Yeah. Okay. 
So that's going to make it four to four because uh, oh, he's on his turn. Yeah, thank you. So he's gaining the fate. The fate fizzles. And now it's in court games. He's going to dishonor the Borderlands defender, put Julian at three. And a Horde fan bringing him back to five. And Sung, Sung has no answer here. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Just fire out the fire off the good omen. A charge, good omen, and a cavalry reserve. So really, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the promise is not breaking, but still, he's probably going to dishonor the Eden Trader. You know, I don't know, that's a weird one, because like I feel like with uh, a guard duty, you can just put the honor token back on, right? So, so he uses fire to take the honor from uh, Euro, okay, but he's got a Euro, sorry. Uh, why, why is he waiting for them to get omens? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. So he's going back, just asking if we do it during cleanup. I mean, to be fair, they haven't gone to the next round, so he can still play that during the fate phase. Yep. So he didn't really miss his he didn't really miss his window of opportunity yet. They both have a pile of faith. Uh, Julian's got 13, and Sung Ho has 11. So we have, we have nine minutes left on the clock. Now, if time runs uh, out... Sorry, we should probably let the players know that they're under 10 minutes. Yeah, if, if time runs out, like, Julian will win this based on the provinces he's broken. I believe. Yes. And if he... uh, well, no, it'll depend on... 2, four, two, six, two yeah. Seven, yeah. Uh, he does not have favor. He doesn't have honor. He only has five to two. All right, Steadfast Witch Hunter comes out for Julian. Moto Youth from Sun Hill. There's the Border Riders that Sun Hill loves so much. Maybe over investing in the fate given how much time he knows left in the, in the game. So just bidding, they both bid one, little surprise. Although somehow might have considered uh, trying to pull some cards. So I wonder if... If Julian takes control of guard duty after it's been used this turn, is it considered to have been used or is it considered to be well, that, replayed? That was, that was the question we had with Spyglass earlier, right? If okay. he takes the Spyglass. I think it's the same object on the battlefield. Yeah. So I, I think if he's already it's used... It's never it, leaves left play, so... So he doesn't let go Just on the guard duty. Yeah, so he let go because he's not going to be able to steal it before Sung Ho would have a chance to use it. So I, I think with, with seven minutes left on the clock, Julian just needs to aggressively prevent breaks. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain he wins on, uh, on no. tiebreakers. He wins on tiebreakers, but it's not a clear, it's not a clean win, right? He's well, ahead. So you get two points for each province you've broken. Yes. You get two points for the Imperial Favor. One for the Imperial Favor. Is it win? So it's seven. Two for being ahead in honor. So two provinces so and the six. Favor is five. No. Oh, two provinces broken. Yeah, he, he just needs to break one more province. You're right, you're right. So then... And Sung was ahead in honor, so he has two. So it's 5-3. You need five points to have a yeah. straight win. They're but in, to, to be honest, right right? Sung Ho is gonna concede. So okay. if, if it if it comes to that point, yeah. unless he unless he breaks a couple provinces.
And I think Julian, what he's... Yeah, so Julian's just doing the math on his time. Yeah. So Julian ends up passing his conflict. Sango is attacking with eight military into the tiers of Amaratsu. Defend with Steadfast Witch, Hun Witch Hunter and Kasada. So that's uh, 13 16 for the defense. Mountain does not fall on Kasada. That's, that's his third mountain does not fall. Which is pretty good considering I think they're maybe half the deck. So Sungho fizzles the greater planes. Then Jero comes in. Uh, draws a card with the Ida Trader. So 13 to 16, but Julian hasn't used his, uh, his stronghold yet. He is not. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's gonna lose his conflict. And, and no, somehow just waiting for cavalry reserve. <laughs> cavalry reserves. Uh, infantry, infantry. I, I do see the assassin in Julian's hand, but uh, yeah. I don't know if you want to play that. And, and infantry? Well, no. Yeah, he can't he can't afford to assassinate. Because the Borderlands Defender is likely gonna bow due yeah. to the water ring. Uh-huh. Ida Trader is not cavalry. Yeah. I think he's just picking out the cards that are not. No, no, he's not. So. Go. Yeah, so that was my bad, too. Uh, not nearly as impressive. Does he even have the points? Yeah, it's That's Shinjo Alter of Sarnet. Did he? No. Yeah, 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 but he's not going to. Okay. Yeah, apparently uh, the fact that it says cavalry reserves isn't just flavor text. <laughs> All right, so that takes him up to 20. Uh, so this is a break even with the... No, it's not a break. No, with a, if he uses his yeah, yeah, stronghold. Yeah, if he uses his stronghold, it's it moves it out of break range. Break. But I, I do see a, actually, I do see a, uh, a charge in Sungo's hand. So if he, if he charges this out, he blanks the uh, Steadfast Witch Hunter and the Borderlands Defender. Just wondering if he sees it. Oh, so yeah, I guess, I guess he could use the Water Ring to bow Kasada. Um, yeah, that's true. It's just a matter of Sungho sees this play here. Yeah. yeah. He assassinates the border rider. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Sungho needs to do this charge play. Or sorry. Yeah. He loses the border rider. Yeah. Okay. There's a bonsai in Sungho's hand. Oh. He spends an honor, gets four. This is still not breaking. There's a court games left in Sungho's hand and a charge. One minute left on the clock. This is most definitely gonna be the last turn of the game. Uh, maybe even the last, uh, well, if, if Sungho doesn't straight up concede, then yeah. Yeah. 
So eat a, eat a traitor. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if Sung Ho played uh, uh, played charge here, he would have. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't think he wants. I, I think his only chance here is uh, an air ring. But I guess uh, Julian just yeah. So yeah, he bows. He bows Casada with a water ring. Yeah. Yep, so okay. Julian volunteers uh, the right play for right. Sun Ho. Okay, so water ring is in his possession. Now it's Julian's turn to do a. Man, I. So Julian's just explaining what the, yeah. how this resolves. Okay. But then, can't Julian now just do a, a conflict with the air ring gain? Gain two, uh, two honor while making Sun Ho lose one because, well, I guess it wouldn't be undefending. He can no. unbow as his border yeah. rider. Yeah. You, he's going to use the Steadfast Witch Hunter to stand Kasada, I think? Yeah. So it didn't even even matter with the uh, with that play. He readies the border rider. So. So just letting people know it's time in the round. So he's going air military. So somehow he's just going to concede, so we're not going to play it out. <laughs> 